In this short video, I'll show you how to change a drill bit. And as you can see here, I've got several drills to work with, but there are two main types you need to know about. The drill at the top of the screen is an older style that requires a key for the chuck, and the other is a modern keyless model. So let's start with the newer one. The front part of the chuck rotates and adjusts to the size of the drill bit needed. I've got mine opened up all the way because I'm going to use the largest one I have. Now, I'll twist the front of the chuck the opposite way until it stops. Then, while holding the back of the chuck, I'll tighten this all the way. It's just like tightening a bottle lid, but make sure you give it a strong twist. Okay, to remove the bit, just grab the back part and turn the front counterclockwise. As you can see, I can use other bits like this magnetic holder so I can use my drill as a screwdriver. And that's how you change a drill bit on a modern drill. Now let me show you how to do this on an older style drill like this. Both styles look very similar, but you have to use a key to tighten the old one. The key is almost always attached to the cord so it won't get lost. Having said that, I can tell that this is not the key that came with this drill. To insert a bit on an older drill, loosen the back of the chuck. Then when the bit is in, twist it the other way until it stops. And here's where the key is necessary. Insert it into one of the holes and turn clockwise until the drill bit is held in nice and tight. To remove the bit, just reverse the process. I remember I hated this type of chuck in the old days. As a kid, sometimes it seemed like I could never get it tight enough. And there was always a possibility of losing the key which would make the drill useless. Okay, so now that I've shown you these two type of drills, there's a third type of tool I want to show you so that your knowledge is complete. This is an impact driver, and it's slightly different than the ones I showed you before. The front has a modified type of chuck, and this tool gives you extra power for driving in tough screws and bolts. The most important thing to know is the type of driver bit it uses. Notice that this Phillips bit has a little extra notch on the back. This is what the chuck on the impact driver grabs onto. So here on the front, there's a spring-loaded collar, and to insert a bit, pull this out, insert, then release. To take it out, just do the reverse. It's really quite simple once you know how. You may only have one drill or several like I do, but now you're prepared no matter what kind you have on hand. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all my DIY videos.